and hey, welcome back to the channel. Welcome, welcome. First time guest, thank you for stopping by. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, this is going to be an episode of Funk Spins. Uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it. When I last left you, it was my second time using a drop spinner to draft some natural Coradale cross comb top uh, into yarn. This is what I have so far. And I know it's really nutty. I don't know why I do these things, but to me, this makes perfect sense. Either way, this is what I've accumulated over the time that I've been spinning yarn, which is two times, which was once at my sister-in-law's residence. Thank you very much, Diane. I appreciate this. Uh, and second time was in my own home when I you know, decided to carry this forward. Either way, I'm really digging what's happening. At first, I thought I was only going to get maybe a mitten out of there, you know? Maybe a, uh, maybe a pot holder. <laughs> but... I've, 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 I've since started dreaming bigger, okay? We're gonna go ahead and put this down. Here's a close up of what I got. They're different, I don't know whether to call it qualities, but um, the tightness of my spins are apparently different. And there are also different types in here too, but they're all going to the same item. I'm gonna put that off to the side for right now and I keep this tag just to remind me of what I'm actually touching, okay? So let's pull our tray in here and I'll show you what I'm working with. This is what I was also gifted to by my sister-in-law. Um, and I mean, I'm still got plenty of wraps and rolls left, I mean, but this is what I've been using, which is what I've read off before. Uh, so I'm gonna put that to the side because I still have the piece that I, that I was sectioning, sectioning off last time. I'm not done with that yet. Okay, so, and remember, if it's your first time tuning in, it starts there. Starts there, and then you have machines and, or in this case, people that take it from that. to some form of this, to some shape of that, into your favorite sweater, or your knitted hat, or your gloves, or those scarves that are so fashionable. You know, so that's that's what's really going on at the end of the day. So let's go ahead and get it. I'm gonna take my next section. I remembered last time I decided on a certain thickness, I like it. I'm gonna try to achieve that again. Okay, and I'm not going to do anything pretty like I did last time. I'm going to just do it from beginning to end. Um, so there we go. This is what we're going to start with. And we're going to start our drafting now. Okay, I'm going to separate this. I'm going to, let's see how long it was when we started. Okay, so we're looking at approximately this TV tray length. Yeah, approximately. So let's get the draft in this. I'm going to pull this out of the way and try to get a little closer to the camera. Oh, and by the way, this is our handy dandy drop spinner. Okay, this one started out, you know what, I'm not going to tell the story of this drop spinner. If you want to know the story of this drop spinner, you started episode one and you work your way back up. We're going to put it off to the side with the rest of our goodies. All right. Oh, great. Oh, and if you want to know why this earbud is in this ear, go back to the last episode and watch it. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the get the drafting. I'm gonna I wanna see just how if I can get it back to that consistency I was looking at the last time. And this is one pass. This is only one pass. And this is for some folks that maybe stopped and said, what? is this guy doing <laughs> and that's why i'm doing a little more explaining so let's take that one pass okay now let's measure let's pull in our table let's pull in the table and uh i'll leave it at the edge here all right see we've grown that and we're going to grow it some more and some more until my, my problem when i first was getting getting into this was i'd always make it too thin 
And I'm by no means a pro. This is my third attempt. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, three. Third attempt. Okay, so since this is my third attempt on this, I'm by no means, means a professional. But what I can say is that if you go to the one video that I was given, and I think I put a, something about it in the first video, and you watch it and listen, <laughs> and then start feeling and, and really holding it up to the light, you know, and seeing that it's separating across, I can see it separating across a, a seam there, and caring about that. Yeah, I don't want it too thin. I can tell there. I'm starting to, I'm starting to really take it to. A, I, I think I'm done with this piece. I don't want to, I don't want to talk myself into a, a, a piece of baloney. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's go ahead and grab our drops, our, our drop spinner, our drop spindle. Sorry. And we already have a leader that we made out of the existing wool that we had from one of the last episodes. I think it's in one of the prior episodes, so we don't have to worry about that anymore and how to connect it and stuff. Now, it's all clockwise motion per the video. So one, she does three wraps around, which is actually a good number of wraps. I've tried less and didn't work out as good as three. So, yeah, kudos on the third wrap. <laughs> Somebody had to figure that out and make a suggestion, so that person gets a that person gets a shout out from Apple Phone. <clears throat> All right, let's get one of these ends prepared and fed through, and we're gonna sort of start it through there. And let's do our own little spin on it. And this may not be how everybody says to do it, but I don't think this is simplification. I don't think so. I'm not really trying to simplify it, but. It came with no leader, and believe it or not, to find something that will spin and spin and spin and not pop is not an easy chore, because I started with something besides this fiber to try that. So, yeah, yeah, you might think, oh, you know what, I'll just get a piece of this and I'll tie it on. No, you spin it, and you spin it, and you build up that spin till it bunches and see if it pops. This won't pop you know I mean you really would have to put some significant pressure on it for it to pop and, uh, um, and, and, and I'm sure it would eventually but that's what I'm saying you can go through a lot of materials this is a very strong material okay so I fed it through my leader my little spun in and I've sort of learned in mine, you know, I may be jacked up at first, but I have to go really sort of long up here because for some reason I get into trouble. If I start down here, that's gonna come loose. You know, some some reason it will. And and, and it's fine, but I, I, I've accepted that. <laughs> and then I've been trying to show myself or find a place I'm comfortable leaving the excess because if it gets in your way which as confident as I am right now that I'm good to go I know that once I start spinning this this will end up in this I don't know how but uh you know, we're, we're, we're as prepared as we're going to be I'll sit up you know what I'll put the pad back on for this because it'll let me sit a little taller so hold on one second <clears throat> there we go. Let's do that right there. All right. See, already it wants to go back into the spindle. Well, it already it does. So let's put it down here and let's start our. No, 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 no. We don't start it like this, right? Do we get the spin going? Oh, you know, I can do it this way. I can do it this way. I'm not gonna. There is a way and a method to the madness, but this is. I'm gonna accomplish this thing, okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean... And I'm just trying to get a little bit of spit on this, this little nugget that I've got here, and then I can let it carry into the... Okay, so... Oh, ah, 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 can't let your spin out, funk. So, 
and you don't want your spin to get past your fingers, okay? So, I am technically doing everything wrong that you should not be doing at this moment. And I don't know why, but it's okay. It's okay. Let me regather, regroup. And, and it should only apply to this little piece right here. Oh, I know why. Because, you know, you're going to hold it. So, and, and, and then sometimes it just takes you remembering that there's a process. Sometimes it only takes that. Which, which is what just happened. That's why they have that long little piece in there. And I'm going to... I'm gonna guide this up. Uh, that's not really that tight. Let's let's see if we can tighten it up. I think it'll tighten up as we get going. You know, because I'm putting a lot of pressure on that. But like I said, you see that? You find a material, like I said, that you just pull out, say a fishing line, and do that. Uh, see what happens, yeah, and uh, you'll understand that it's not just that. <laughs> okay, let's feed this. Get this is a little more. This is a little more uniform. I'm feeling a lot more. See, it wants to go there. <laughs> let's go ahead and lock it off, and uh, and we'll do two sections today. We'll do two because. And don't ask me why. It just seems that this is coming out really nice for me. And so yeah, it's a well. I don't know now. But you know what? I'm, I'm pretty much just. I guess I'll keep it going here and try to even this out. Can you even it out? We're gonna find out, right? I think you can. I think I can get the rest of that out in the next, the next deal, right? And that's where I'm at so far, okay? And I'm, I mean, I can, I can even, I've gone quite a ways. I should go ahead and bunch this up. And I'll go ahead and do that now. I like the consistency of this. I don't know about this little bunch of whether I should be concerned, but see, got it out. I know it's going somewhere, but I think it's really dissipating itself down to this bottom, see? So now that's gone. So I think I should wrap this. Let me wrap this. I'll probably never get this off of here again. This is, uh, um, Okay. See, I, I always have this problem too. If you watch any episodes, is that for me, it getting getting things off is a lot more challenging than putting them on. Okay. So we want to go clockway, clock clockwise. So we'll spin it around here. I don't think any of this is the method because you end up like I'm doing now. But you know what? It make some things begin to make more sense later. Uh, how far did I go? Well, I'm pretty far. Let's do this. There we go. And this. And we're going down the. And here we go. I mean, this is, I could have done this a bunch of easier ways. I'm positive of that. But here we go. I mean, I can't, I can't ask for too much more, right? It's all right. Let's punch this up toward the top. Okay, so. Okay, I would need to go back up and do the three more spin because I didn't release the three spins here. So um, I'm going to take I'm going to take this out. And I remember once I went to go, and it only happened once, right? 
I think something happened when I was in El Paso uh, with my sister-in-law, Diane, and I was like, well, I'll just cut it. And she was like, don't cut it. You just draft it out. You know, you pull it out. And you, Cause you know that messes up the fibers, and I and, and I can see now where that would be totally, totally the case. So, all right, so we have this one here that's ready. Um, we'll put it on our little. I will show you what I do. I don't know, and and, and it's different every time. And I, I know I'm manually spinning this, but you know this stuff's gonna keep this pattern. It's gonna keep it. You know, once it gets formed in, it's not going to come out of it. So, uh, and I, uh, so generally, I find a place and I tie it on. And it doesn't need to be tied great; just just a fixed. And then I come around and I begin unwrapping it onto my little wheel. And so when I'm ready to undo it, I'll just come and I'll unwrap it. And I'm going to knit something. I don't, like I said, I, I gotta, I have to figure that part out. Okay, so we're here now. And this is my little piece. So I'm going to just back it out like this. Alright, so we're close right there. And 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 once again for this activity it will it, it's going it's gonna be hard for you to find a material that would hold up, you know, to that. Now this is gonna be a more more of a difficult situation, but it'll come. It'll come. Alright, so there we go. And then all I gotta do is unwrap the end piece that I left. I left the end piece, it didn't make it long. So I gotta figure out where it's at. That's why I didn't go up but so far when I started it. See, now that's the end that I started with. That's why I, didn't, I learned you don't go up but so far and then I can pull it out of my leader. And then I can finish wrapping it off and be done. So that's just my little way of getting it done. <laughs> you know, you start to think of little things like that. I'm not sure what, it's not proper, but I'm not really going for the proper, proper way of things. So now I got this little piece right here. I'm going to save it and I'm going to go ahead and grab one more piece. And see, now I still have my leader. Everything is nothing different. Nothing has changed. I would just spread it out again, uh, like you saw it a minute ago, and bam, there it is. So this is some tough material, especially when it's all twisted like that. Let's grab one more piece. We'll do one more, and then we'll get off of here. All right, we'll start off with about the same length. Uh, about the same length. Let's pull this table in so you can see what I'm doing. All right, let's move our drop spindle out of the way and move our collection over here. And we'll put, see, we'll start here. We'll start right here. All right. Yeah, we're going to pull up. Oh, you know, that's a little too close to be pulling. All right. Let me, let me, those five, but that was too close. So let's, let's try some out here. Yeah, there we go. All right. See, nice and, look at that. Nice and pretty. Nice. Okay. I still have plenty. You know, I mean, if I unwrapped it, but I still got, I have plenty. And this is three or four different little sections. So let's pull off. Of, I didn't even notice how it breaks in sections by itself. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. Here's four. I don't know if that's where I should even be pulling it, but it looks pretty uniform to me. So I'm going to follow that first one, which was right here. I'm going to pull on this one right here. All right, we're going to work this piece right here. This is for next episode. I'm going to put it up, put it over here. I'll make sure it's in a 
nice place before I, you know, shut it all down. I've got a couple of stragglers here I'll get rid of. All right, let's get this tray out of the way. Go ahead and draft this out. Uh, I don't know what we're going to get, but we're going to take what we get, and we're not going to really go past that. Let's get a bit of light here. Okay. I'm going to start light. Okay. I think I started out with a pretty small piece for what I was intending, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay. I'm gonna do one more. What do you think? One more? One more pass? Mm, one more. I think one more pass for me is gonna be good. Also, learn you have to pull this at certain levels. You, it's not a uniform pull all the way across. There may be more at the top than there is in the middle. I mean, you're, if you, it's not just, uh, uh, you know, I guess it could be, but it seems like you have to adjust your pull also to, to, to get that uniformity in the fibers. I like working with that right there. That's good for me. That's pretty good. I, I think that's strong enough for me to do something with without it breaking up. Um, let's grab our drop spindle. Oh, this is my, uh, my okay, I, I move out, you know, I do my gaming, so that's what this is for. And then when I do regular live episodes, this is actually just camera driven. Okay. Uh, do I need this? I don't need that chair. Let's back it up. Let's get our stash out of the way. We're going to take our... drafted wool here, and let's get an end on it. I showed you how I like to do it. And at the end, sometimes, because I do it like that, sometimes I will go thinner. Because I'm just going to pull it out anyway at the end. So sometimes, and, 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 and that way I'm not wasting as much in my head. You know, in my head, I'm not wasting that little end. But once I got proficient, I would see where I would have just a lot. Well, no, what I would wind up doing then is doing the, um, I wouldn't pre-draft it. I would just draft it on the go. And I've got to think that's a lot more difficult, you know, to draft this thing on the end. Let's go ahead and get this end spun up and fed through our leader end. So we can get to turn this into something viable. Oh, oh, see, already wanting the hook. Uh, let's feed it through our leader and and we don't. I I don't go up too far from here because once again I'm going to pull it out when I'm done to keep my leader. And the less twists I have to do, the better. So I want to have about yay far on the other side. And then I'm going to uh, get this out of my way. I will figure this out on where, where it goes. And I'll watch the person again, maybe. At this point, I've, li I've listened, and, and I'm going to do some drafting on the go here. Because I can tell now that it might be a little thicker. Oh, so that's not what I want. Okay. So let's get our string up here. Let's get it fed, and we're going clockwise three turns. One, two, three, and then we're going to start to uh, spin it. All right, drop spinner. Let's get those spins going. I'm going to hold this up, and we'll give it, there we go. Looking, it's looking okay. It's starting to loosen up a little bit on us. Let's hold it here. I'm going to readjust, let's spin it up, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to guide it, go ahead, and we'll just keep it, we'll keep it, I, can, I have more feel with this 
Okay. As far as the resistance back in the back of down here that I do, well, sometimes. It's very sometimey, to be honest with you. Okay, let's go ahead and get this all spun up here. Let that go. And I think we're being a little overly uh, zealous here. We probably need to settle down. Yeah, see, it's starting not to really. Oh, you know what? I just need to pull that little tight. All right, so I'm making, I think I'm making this. finish it. We'll wrap it later. We don't have enough, in my opinion, to Come down. And go this way. I didn't do that at all. That Well, I also didn't unwrap it. Hold on. I don't want to do that again. So let me take this off. One, two, three. Now. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> and we'll, we'll get it off of here once we, once we get going. Okay? So let's get back up into here. We'll take it one, two, we'll just, we'll do three spins too. Knowing that, we'll draft this back soon. And that's the thing, once you twist it, it's, you know, becomes almost impossible to draft, you know, past a certain point. And that's fine. Let's just get the, let's spin it up. I think uh, this is as good as we're gonna get that. Okay, so I'm gonna take it off and just wrap it on on. Wrap it on the little collection end of the drop spindle. And grab my trusty, dusty tool. <laughs> I call this the apple holder, because it holds apple funky on it. <laughs> okay, let's um, let's stay focused. We're at the end of this thing, and we can almost make it through without making a major faux pas. We've got it tied on, and we're going to go ahead and wrap it on. See, this side's becoming a lot more uniform. I'm not saying it's good, but 
<laughs> I'm saying it's a lot more uniform. <laughs> Alright, so let's um, find the end of our our leader. I see it right here. And I all I do is untwist to find mine because I created it. I created it! And then we'll unspin to our to where we uh Yeah there we, we put it together and we put it together short. There it is. It's out. It's a, we can put our drop spin a little way. We'll spin this. We'll let that spin come on out because it wants to be. It wants to be here. We're gonna take this down, and I'm gonna stick it in between this guy and pull it straight down here. I go through twice. Um, actually, I go through it and then I go through a different. I don't really like messing with the end too much. And there we go. We've added to our bundle. Thank you guys very much and gals for watching. I definitely appreciate it. This has been another episode of Funk Spins. I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Wonderful day. <laughs>